Find the exact value of cosine 105 degrees. Class, yes or no? Is 105 degrees on your unit circle? The answer is no. So you could put that into your calculator, right, and you get a decimal answer. But this is saying the exact value, which means you need to have a fraction or a radical, OK? So 105 degrees is somewhere in here. So basically, we're going to be using an identity where I can add two angles or subtract two angles on here to find this value. What does that basically mean? We're using the unit circle, not the calculator to find an answer. Okay. All right, cosine of 105 degrees. Uh, talk to your partner. I need two angles that either add or subtract to be 105. 20 seconds, right? Second. Um, Try saying quadrant one. Lillian? Two angles that either add or subtract to be 105. Two angles, Elaine? Echo? 90 and 15. But remember, I'm trying to look for two that are actually on the unit circle. Although 90 plus 15 does add up to 105, we're trying to find two angles that are on the unit circle. Sixty and forty-five. Now, raise your hand if you use sixty and forty-five. Can we find other ones? Yes. Well, let's just use this. Okay. What does this mean? My A value is sixty, and my B value is forty-five. I'm gonna color code this. Good question. Someone asked once if I switch those. Uh, You'll get the same answer, but your work might look a little bit different. All right, we're going to read now. Uh, class, is this uh, plus or minus? Uh -huh. Sum or difference? Sum. So this is the sum identity of cosine. What is it called, class? Sum. Okay. <laughs> Ready to have fun? Tell me, uh, what is the sum identity of cosine? Ready, set, go. Cos, cos, sine, sine, ab, ab, change the sign. Okay? So you can just get that directly from your formula sheet or that silly mnemonic. And now we're just going to do the substitutions. Every time I see a, a I'm going to write what? 60. And every time we see B, we're going to write? 45. So I have cosine of 60, cosine of 45, minus sine of 60, and then sine of 45 degrees. And then now we're just going to use our unit circle to uh, evaluate this. Class cosine at 60. Your answer? Talk to your partner in 10 seconds. Class, what's your order pair there? Right? One, two, three, right? One, two, three. Cosine, sine. So we have one half. Cosine of 45? 
Radical 2 over 2. Sine S60. That would be radical 3 over 2. And sine of 45. Radical 2 over 2. So then here I can just multiply across. I get radical 2 over 4 minus radical 6 over 4. Class, do I have a common denominator? Yes. Yeah, what is it? Radical 2 minus radical 6 are not like terms, so I can keep it as it is. And we found the exact value of cosine of 105 degrees. If I had to uh, summarize that in steps, I would say number one, find A and B. Two, formula or identity. Number three, substitute, and then simplify.